Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to back up databases, do automatic backup for database, and restore back database using command prompt on Windows. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is to open command prompt, open command prompt and open it, run it as administrator. Now once it's open, the next thing you're going to do is to locate the folder where you have my SQL, I have mine my, my program files. I'll look for my SQL. I'm looking for 5.7 version. Open the bin and copy the address. So immediately I'm going to change directory and paste it here. It opens for me. So what am I going to do? Let me show you the databases that I have. Let me open my workbench and show you the databases that I have available. Okay, so I, I have this world and I want to back up this world database. So let's go back. What I'll have to do is to use my SQL dump. user root password so i'll get exactly where i want to store this backup and this that is at this automatic backup folder i'll get the address once i get the address i'll put it here then what do i want to name this my backup i'll say world small letter throughout world backup dot sql i'll close it so look i am inside my bin folder my sql dump root password so this if i run this query it will request for my password i will Paste this query at the description box in case you did not get it. Let's look at it again. My SQL dump root password. Oh, we are missing the database name that I want to back up, which is world, and we are going to store it here. And we are going to store it here. So let's run this query and see what it will give us it's requested for password your database password so you put your database password and that's it once you go to that folder so this folder desktop automatic backup you are going to see that the backup of that work if you open it you will see complete dump of that database you will see all the tables ct you will see where you created city dump every con every content of that city if you go down you will see more so this is actually how to do backup with command prompt now the next thing we are going to do is to do automatic backup create a batch file that will be doing this backup for us every single time we want to do this backup now that we are done with manual backup i want to show you how you can do automatic backup First, let's delete this backup that we did manually. So this automatic backup folder is empty. Close it. Get the directory of your MySQL. For me, it's on C drive, program files, MySQL, just as I showed you before. The bin, then copy this directory. After copying it, open a notepad and write change directory paste that pin here paste that address here then on the second line paste my sql dump local host you root this you root means user root password then the database you want to back up 
the next is the location where you want to store that backup which is at still desktop automatic backup and i want to name it world backup the sql so after this i will save it as dot bat file so this is this file on on desktop this is it on desktop dot bat save yes if you go to your desktop you will see it remember this automatic backup is empty but the moment we run this we double click on this backup dot part you will see that it has it has done automatic backup inside this automatic backup folder if you click on it and refresh you will see that it has done automatic backup let's delete double click on it again refresh this automatic folder you will see that it has an automatic backup delete again delete this folder is empty watch this folder is empty it's empty but once you double click on it it will do automatic backup to back up every single thing inside our world database look at this query here i'll put it on the description so if you watch out you see that our backup is always word word backup what if i want to have word backup at 10 o'clock at 11 o'clock i want to do another backup at 12 i want to do another backup and i want to have all the copies what i'll just do is to add date and time so on this my work backup i'll just use percentage and add date these are date and time parameters like i told you i will leave it at description dot sql these are date and time parameters so i will save now that i've saved let us run that our backup dot part again open it you will notice that look at it this one has date and time it has date it has time so i can decide to run another one again run another one again and run another one again you will see that it will always save different files let me run it again if you refresh see look at it another one if i run it again i refresh for me to automatically take weekly backup, daily backup, hourly backup, or constantly taking backup for an interval, the simple thing I will do is to open a tax scheduler. Create a tax on tax scheduler. So open a tax scheduler. Create task. Once I click on create tax, I'll put the name take world take world database backup run only when it is logged in a little bit like that you can trigger new trigger means when do you really want it to be happening is it daily is it weekly so i can say weekly and i'll say probably on friday i say okay so every friday this every friday around 2 58 pm this backup will, will process action so i'll go and Go to desktop and open the bat file. Look at it, back up, open it. You can say okay. Condition settings allow us to run on demand. Say okay. 
but then I click on tax calculator library this is our tax ready so with this automatically every Friday of the week we are going to take a backup automatically the computer will take a backup of that world database I hope you're able to learn something new now let's go and restore database so the next thing is to restore this backup using command prompt to restore this backup the first thing is to look at this backup bat file that you created duplicate it copy and paste change it to restore restore so we are going to go and create a database backup where we can restore this backup to open workbench let's create database world backup you know this this world that we backed up so let's create it okay that's created look at it when you refresh but it's empty so we are going to back up restore that backup into this world backup all right so the next thing is to is to open your command prompt and uh, start as administrator remember start as administrator command prompt start as administrator then go to the folder where you have your mysql i have mine at program files remember look for mysql the bin file copy the address change now paste so open this it is this restore first change this greater than sign to less than then the database that we want to back up is what that we want to restore into is world backup right and the file where which we want to restore is backup underscore world underscore backup. this file this is the file we want to restore all right okay then the next thing is to remove this dump we are not dumping we want to restore so my sql always root password the database name and the location of the backup file remember that this particular table is empty this particular database is empty there is no table inside so let's run it now just paste the mysql localhost user password the database that we are going to import this backup or restore this backup click enter so if you go inside that database right now you will see that look at it it has restored this that data that is in world backup look at it it has content now but this one is command prompt and it's manual so if you want to be doing it automatic just save this restore save this restore the moment you click this every single time it will run that this restore.path it will restore this database this database into it will restore this backup into that database right any moment you click on restore it will restore this backup into that database i hope you're able to learn something new please continue to follow our channel here we talk about ai we talk about windows we talk about programming we talk about sql we talk about anything tech thank you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel